Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to define and explain the reinforced concrete. That what is mean by reinforced concrete and how we can define this term. So I'm going to take a very simple example and explain this topic in detail. By reinforce, it means to improve. To improve something or to enhance something or to increase something. So this is the definition of reinforce. So what we are doing basically, we are basically increasing the capacity of the concrete in terms of its tensile. So I will define now in detail what is meant by the reinforced concrete. So let me start with a very simple and easy example. For example, this is any beam. And this beam is loaded with a uniformly low distributed load, for example, here. So what happened? Because of this load and the top of the beam, we will have compressor stresses. I call it compressor stresses at the top. And at the bottom, what we will have, we will have some, we will have some tensile stresses. In the bottom, we will have tensile stresses in the beam because this beam will behave and will bend. So we will have compressor stresses at the top and we will have tensile stresses in the bottom. And these two stresses comes under the category of bending stresses. Bending or flexural stresses. The flexural stresses are bending stresses has compressor stress and bend and tensile stress. So what happened? We know that concrete is good in compression. The concrete is here, is good in compression. This one is good in compression. But here we also have concrete. For example, here is also concrete. This whole beam is made of the concrete. This whole beam is only made of the concrete. There is no reinforcement or no steel bar is used. So here, here we also have concrete in the bottom. So it is weak in the tension. Keep in mind, the concrete is good in compression. But it is weak in tension. So what will happen to this beam? So upon loading, there will be directly cracks in the beam. Because concrete is weak in the tension. So what we do in this beam? So if, we, if I take this beam again here. And I applied the same load here again. So what I do here, I provide the steel reinforcement bar here. If I draw the cross section, so the steel bar will look like this. The circles are the steel reinforcement bars. So now what will happen? Upon loading, here we have compressor stresses. Where concrete is here, so concrete can take the compressor stresses very good. So here, this part will be in compression. So concrete can be, can take very good compressor stresses, but in this part, you see here, this part will be under tension. Because if I draw the stress diagram, so here we have compression, here we have tension. This part is under tension, and this part is under compression. And these are the neutral axes. So this tension part is reinforced with a steel reinforcement bar. This is a steel reinforcement bar. So now what we do, we basically increase the tensile capacity of the concrete here. Because before there was no reinforcement present, so we directly came up with some cracks. Because concrete was weak in tension. But now we provided the reinforcement bar here. You see this is still reinforcement bars here. So we increase the, what we did? We increase the tensile capacity of the concrete beam. Increase the tensile capacity of beam. And by increasing the tensile capacity of the beam, what we did, we reinforce the concrete. Reinforce beam to enhance or to improve 
the tensile capacity of the concrete tensile capacity of the of the concrete beam so that's why we called it reinforced concrete element so my main goal was to explain the reinforced concrete the reinforced means to improve or to increase the concrete tensile capacity in a structure element i consider here is a beam where beam is loaded under bending stresses so the lower part is weak in tension what we do we provide the reinforcement bar here to increase the tensile capacity of the beam and that's why when it increases the tensile capacity of the beam then we call it that it is a steel reinforced concrete beam because it is reinforced with the steel reinforcement so now this beam will be known as the steel reinforced concrete beam because it is now reinforced with the steel reinforcement so hope you guys understand that why i call it reinforced concrete because it is in, because the capacity the tensile capacity of this beam has been increased with the help of the steel reinforcement so hope you guys understand the today lecture and don't forget to subscribe for channel for daily civil engineering videos